Oh, okay, so Tiny Tape Out just finished. We had 143 submissions. <laughs> with 2.6 meters of wire. <laughs> and 86,000 standard cells, 30 countries, but we've only half filled it, so there's room to grow. We are using the version 4 MUX, which has been done by TNT, Sylvain Minot, and that has reduced the round trip latency to about 20 nanoseconds. Um, TT5 is November the 4th, so if you want to get involved, check it out. I'm here at a workshop tomorrow, um, and we're expecting Tiny Tape out 2 and 3 by the end of the year. So future plans, we really want to enable analog. So Harold Prettel, who was mentioned a couple of times earlier, has made us a great uh, PMOS that will turn on and off the, um, your, your cell if it's not in use. And we're working with some new foundries, IHP and Pragmatic. Pragmatic's already been mentioned. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it for Tiny Tape Up. We've had 600 projects submitted so far, which is twice what has been submitted to the Google and PWS. So that's not bad. So I wanted to say another couple of words about some startups that have all been funded in this space. So it's not just messing around. We've got Spherical Systems doing space stuff. Efablis is continuing to do paid for Chip Ignite services. They're also running Open Lane 2, which is a big improvement with Open Lane 1, and we're using Open Lane 2 for Tiny Tape Out. And Chipflow, you've already heard from Rob Taylor, is active in this space, also funded. So these are companies to watch out for. And finally, just a few things. Well, I've still got plenty of time. I'll, t I'll use Rob Strick and talk really slowly. <laughs> so yeah, Tiny Tape Out, um, affordable ASIC manufacture, $100 to get your design on a chip, pretty good. Uh, come to the workshop tomorrow if you want to learn more and get involved. I also have an ASIC design course, which is like an in-depth course, which teaches you everything you need to know up to uh, doing full chip tape out, which is, includes analog and anything else you want to do. And I'm also a founder member of Yosis HQ, so we do open source EDA, formal verification tools that have been mentioned a few times. So if you're in the interest of any of those things, then come and talk to me later tonight. That's a wrap. Thank you.